going on everyone it's Papa Jake and we are back with a brand new video and as you guys know uh, we have been cooped up for quite some time in our quarantine box for I'm currently in the control slash armory center and I'm just chilling you know having some fun relaxing I actually sent Logan out on a little bit of a mission to get some toilet paper because we were low on that so we took his gas mask and he has gone outside and I'm just kind of sitting here bored you know reviewing what he's up to making sure that everything is going on Okay. And as you guys know, every time you smack that like button and every time you hit that subscribe button, we are going to stay another day in the quarantine box fort and continue to expand it. But because today's a little uneventful, because Logan's gone on a mission, Jake, I thought Jake, I need help. Logan, Logan, Logan I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to talk to the viewers right now. But Logan, I can't Jake, I can't I can't hear you over the sound of blaster fire, dude. You gotta tell them to stop using their blasters. I can't hear Okay, you know what I'm just gonna Jake, leave Logan here. Yep, yeah, yeah, no, I get it. There we go. I don't know what Logan's talking about. But what I did realize is I actually have direct access through our computer to some of our older times where we actually did survive in a fallout shelter. I mean, I was sitting here thinking, I'm so bored. What do I do? How do I expand? And I thought I could probably learn a thing or two watching some of our old times living inside a quarantine box for. So I thought for today, why don't we sit back, relax, go on to the mainframe computer, check out living in a fallout shelter box for. I thought it would be an awesome time to jump back in the vault life. Logan, are you excited? I am so down for the vault life. Dude, last time we did a follow up box board, it was so cool, guys. We had like a working vault door, we had working gas masks, and so much more. Papa Jake family is super strong, so if you're not part of it yet, hit the subscribe button down below. And guys, this is a series video, so if you guys want the series to continue, smack that like button. Let's try and crush 30,000 likes. If you want the series to continue, if you guys love follow, smack the like button down below and put a hashtag followed in the comments. All right, guys, so check this out. The fort is looking sweet. Check this out, guys. All right, this is the fallout shelter as of right now. I know you think, Papa Jake, this isn't a fallout shelter. You can't survive anything in here, which is true. You probably can't survive, like, even, like, a ladybug attack. But we are still going to be adding on the roof as well as a bunch of really cool interior stuff. Guys, I'm thinking running water. I'm thinking electricity. I'm thinking, like, secure doors and a massive vault door at the front that we're going to install after everything. Guys, check out all the sweet gear that we have to make this fort insane. We've got pouches here that we're gonna use for running water, as well as this. This is actually gonna be our Rad X kit that we can use in case there's some radiation poisoning. And we've got a bunch of fans that we're gonna be adding onto it, all with a fully working electronic system, which is gonna be sweet. So let's get back there and start adding on the roof because I wanna start working on the fun stuff inside the fort. All right, guys, so update for you. It just started pouring. As you guys can see, the rain is coming down and uh, it's ruining our vault right now. That's not good. That's not good. I don't want to sleep in soggy cardboard. I don't think anyone does. And guys, this is a 24 hour challenge, which means this is the only place we can sleep tonight. It's raining. The sun's going down. And unless we want to sleep on soggy cardboard, we need to get these tarps up, this tarp up and keep building fast. Uh, guys, this is not good. All right, guys, so update for you. I am completely soaked right now and we've been working to save this fort as long as we could. We have tarps up all over the place. We've got a massive tarp in here as well as a tarp at the front of the fort and this place is completely soaked right now. There is lightning, there is thunder. I'm quite honestly a little bit scared because Papa Jake, you know, I, I like making box forts, but in the middle of a thunderstorm, Probably not the best time to make a box for, but I think we can rebuild and I think using this tarp system, we can get this fort up and running. And once we get the lights inside, the fans, the comfy blankets, I think we'll have a nice dry place for tonight. Ah, uh, this is definitely not optimal box fort building, guys. But guys, we're gonna finish this fort and I'll update you guys as soon as it's done. Okay guys, so the rain has died down a little bit. We are back and well, check it out. This is the fort now. We were able to repair everything. That was a torrential downpour. We barely survived that guys. But we got the roof on, we got the walls repaired. We had to battle the rain as things were falling, but we got it done and so check it out. The fallout vault is well, almost complete. I'll take you guys inside. So we don't have power online right now, but the vault is high and dry, which means we're not gonna get wet from the rain. We also need to get the running water going and we need to secure this vault door in case raiders come. Plus, like I said, we're surviving here. The sun is going down. We need our food, our sleeping bags, and so much more. So we're nowhere near done, but at least the rain stopped, and for now, we can get this thing running. So let's get the wires in here and start wiring the lights. Okay, yeah, so we just got everything in the vault set up, and just in the nick of time, things are starting to get pretty bad out here. And like I said, we gotta be careful for raiders. We got most of it set up, at least for tonight. Like I said, we gotta survive here for the night. But first things first, we gotta get the power on. Let's get in here and get it turned on. 
Oh, it's your staff. All right, here we go, guys. So if all the wiring was correct, we should be able to activate the power using this switch, this switch, first circuit breaker, and finally the third circuit breaker in three, two, one. Oh, there we go, dude. This is sweet. This looks awesome. Yo, we got the vault power online. Circuit breakers are all running. Turn down the emergency switches here. And let's get into the computer. Logging into the vault tech mainframe now. Ooh, look, we made it in here just in time. Looks like toxicity levels outside are rising by the minute. This cardboard shortage really has the world going to hell in a handbasket. All right, everything should be online now. Oh yeah, we got air flowing through here, guys. Check this out. That's fresh, purified air coming in here, so we've got our very own oxygen to make sure we stay safe. But Jake, don't we have to close the vault door now? Uh, that's right. All right, let's get this thing closed and locked up. Uh, all right, got it closed and activating the airlock in three, two, one. That looks close, nice. there you go. All right, so I'm gonna be enacting a 24 hour lockdown, which means we cannot leave this vault for 24 hours. If we're gonna expand this later, we're gonna have to go out with our vault tech gear, as well as our gas masks. Oh, dude, the vault tech gear. Yeah, check that out. So far we have one pit boy, but I'd really like to find one for myself. Yeah, dude, we can get these on after. The main thing though, guys, is these are our gas masks. This is what we're gonna need to use when we leave the vault. This cardboard shortage has the world outside going into an all out battle, which means we need our gas masks to go out there. The outside toxicity is already raising. In here, we're safe, but if we do go out to expand the fort, we need our gas masks. Which we definitely need to expand because this isn't enough space for the two of us. We got some fans as well as some extra utility here, but. We definitely don't have everything yet, guys. If we're gonna wanna live in here, we're gonna need a water filtration system, more food. We're definitely gonna have to go on some scavenging runs. But my main worry is bandits, and even worse, mutants. Yeah, guys, if we make a workbench, we could actually make some sweet armor. Comment your ideas down below on what we should add to this fort. All right, well, in terms of supplies, we have what we brought in here. We've got sleeping bags, gas masks, vault tech gear, power is up and running. Although we haven't been able to catch it on camera, but we are having the lights flicker a little bit, which means we might be drawing a little bit too much power to this vault. In terms of defense, well, we got a simple hunting rifle and a pistol. Not much we can do with this. We're definitely gonna need to start gearing up and getting an armory going. How are we doing on food, Logan? I think we have a few MREs. Looks like we have three. All right, that'll last us at least 24 hours, maybe two days tops, but we're gonna need to go out eventually. We've got gas masks and protective gear, but like I said, I put us down on a 24 hour lockdown. Well, uh, Jake, what are we gonna do for 24 hours? Well, we do some target practice, that's for sure. If we're gonna be going out there into the wasteland, we're gonna need to make sure we have the skills to survive. Best your three caps, you can't hit the lock on the vault door. Oh, you're going down. All right, let's see how we do with this bad boy. Haven't used a Hudson rifle in a while, but here we go. Oh! You just missed, Jake. All right, you try. All right. Ooh. Oh, dude, I think you hit it. Looks like these caps are mine, Jake. All right, well, I got 24 hours to win those back. I think we need a radio or something. I want to listen to some tunes in here, but this place is definitely pretty sweet, guys. I mean, as far as fallout shelters go, I think we did a good job. And the cool thing is we made this thing modular so we can keep adding on to it and keep building. But I feel extremely safe in here. And, dude, because of the insane storm we had earlier, this thing is, like, weatherproof. I mean, you could literally throw a... Oh, you're getting all... <laughs> <laughs> Logan's getting all comfy. <laughs> He's got an even more survival shelter in there. But yeah, guys, because of the storm we had, you can literally throw like another thunderstorm at us and we'll be safe in here. We have the entire thing tarped on the outside, so it's also waterproof, which is sweet for us. All right, well, I guess now, guys, we're just gonna chill out. I did get this sweet pit boy, so I'm gonna put this on my arm. Check it out here. Let's see how it works. This is every vault dweller's main tool that he uses. Oh, yo, I got radio on this. I've got map information, data. All right, let me try to turn the power off. Here we go. Let's see if we can get the radio going on this. All right, let's tune into that. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I even got a rad indicator up here, dude, so we can make sure that we're not getting too much radiation. That is going to be key when we go out into the wasteland. All right, well, I guess now we're just going to kind of chill out. I'm going to polish up the blaster, make sure this is all good. And then I think we'll make dinner in a little bit. I might take a little nap. <laughs> yeah, it's been quite a crazy day, guys. Massive thunderstorm building this entire vault. Now we're chilling all here high and dry. Doing pretty good right now. Uh, 
So guys, I've been chilling here for a little bit and it just started raining again. So hopefully everything holds up like, dude, hold on. All right, yeah, that rain's toxic. Okay, all right, if that water gets in here, we are in a lot of trouble. Not to mention we have this whole thing powered with electricity plus the toxicity of the water. We need to make sure that this thing holds up. Look, how well do you think we made this vault? It wasn't a rainstorm, so it wasn't our best vault, but it was pretty good. It's picking up a little bit, all right. But you know, I'm confident, guys. Papa Jake is the box for building master, which means there is no way rain's getting in this thing. It's solid. All right, well, I guess if it's raining outside, we might as well make some dinner. These are specifically designed for having in polo shelters in an apocalypse slash emergency. Looks like tonight we're gonna be having chili with beans. Ooh. Be what was that? Logan? Oh no. Oh, Logan? Jake, what's going on? Emergency power's going on. What does that mean? I don't know. Did we lose power? No, no, someone's at the vault door. All power's been going to secure the vault door. Jake, what do you mean someone's at the vault door? Someone's trying to break in, Logan. Possibly raiders. Uh, let me try and see if I can get the power back on. Come on, come on. No, it's got me locked out. All the power's going to secure the door. Can they get in? I don't know right now. Uh, if the power holds, maybe, but we gotta get ready to fight. Logan, we got raiders at the front door. And they're trying to break into our vault. Someone's trying to break in, Logan. Possibly raiders. Uh, uh, uh. Logan, they're still trying to break in. Jake, can you hold them much longer? I've been trying to keep them out all night, man. I don't know if I can keep them much longer. Come on, come on. Try getting the power back online. I think I found a way to reroute the power. Hold on. Maybe if I use the auxiliary switch here. And in three, two, one. Uh. Oh. oh no, Logan, we're draining through power fast. This vault door is using up all of our power to stay shut. I think the only way to get rid of these raiders is to face them head on. And you know Papa Jake, he doesn't let raiders break down his vault door. There's an external exit in the back of the vault. If we take that outside, with the limited supplies we have, we should be able to stop them. Take this. Let's put an end to these raiders. Follow me. This should just be around here. Looks like they moved away from the vault after we came outside. Rads are increasing on us as well. We don't have a lot of time out here without our gas masks. Shh, I can't hear something. Oh, we got a raider. Jake, watch out. Oh, I got him. Wait, Jake, I think there's one more guy. It's all right, Logan. If there's another guy, he's going to end up like this one. Now, quickly, we got to raid his body. Looks like he had a golf club. Mask, we could use this. Oh, knee pads. Hit yeah, knee pads. Oh, we could use these. Almost got it. All right, go check it. Whoa. Shot just came in. I'm out of ammo. You got any? I got some ammo. Jake, what's the plan? He's got zeroed in. Uh. All right, Logan, I'm gonna need you to give me suppressive fire. I've got an idea. There's no ammo here. Uh. Papa Jake's gonna teach him some golf lessons. Keep firing. Yeah! Got him. Nice shot. Oh, let's see what he had on him. Pistol, not bad. A little bit of ammo left as well. This guy doesn't have much, but he has some caps. And check this out. This guy's are eating rad roach meat. No wonder they're trying to break into our vault. Not too bad. Looks like we only have a few more minutes in our air. All right, gather the supplies. Let's get what we can and get back to base. We've got a lot of touching up to do if we're gonna survive. Logan, we're back and it is time to expand the vault today because we had some raiders come and try and attack our vault, guys. And if we're gonna be surviving in this thing, we need to expand. I wanna add running water, I wanna add more electricity and so much more cool stuff to this. As you guys can see, we set up a bunch of tarps, so this thing is uh, pretty weatherproof. Yeah, I mean, it's still taking a huge beating, guys. Check this out. So as you guys can see, the vault is comprised of two massive, basically, tarps on the top here that are keeping out all the water on the top. And then we have tarps, of course, on the sides here, which are keeping out the water on the sides and then we got this one here which is kind of running off all the water back into the pool there's been so much rain there's been so much wind guys we are not used to this so you know papa jake builds the best box forts but even so this thing is uh, it's, it needs some repairs so here's the interior guys we have the entire part covered here and then as we go inside into the lit room here so here is one of the rooms that actually has power inside this is ac as well as power which is pretty sweet and this is kind of the, the expanded part back here that we're going to be working on today but we've got to get power to the entire vault going. We also have to make sure that the entire vault has air conditioning. And on top of that, I really want to get the running water going today. And the coolest part, Logan, do you tell them what we're doing? So this is going to be a two-story box for it. I think we're going to add it somewhere in one of those rooms. Yeah, so I think out here we're going to have a two-story, probably on the last room there. And then I also want to get a vault door built because that's just going to look sick. And of course, guys, like we said in our last video, if you want this series to continue, if you, if you want us to just keep building onto this vault, hit the subscribe button, crush that like button tonight. Let's guys, let's get 50,000 likes. Oh, dude, yeah, guys, let's just destroy that like button. If you guys want this series to continue, 
in here because I'm having so much fun. I'm loving building it. You know Papa Jake loves Fallout. And don't forget guys, this is an overnight challenge. So we actually have to live in here, which means if we don't build this thing right and it falls apart, then we're not going to be able to survive. So we've got to get this thing up and running because the sun's going down. And Logan, I think the weather's calling for some more rain, dude. All right, Jake, what's the first thing we should do? So I'm thinking, guys, we're going to start off by getting power to the rest of these rooms here and actually finalizing the last room. And then we can start building the last room into the two stories that we have. Also, I am reading all of your comments. You guys have been savage in the comments, by the way. Thank you so very much. All of you are saying we should add a self-defense turret system, which I'm not going to spoil anything, but Logan, I might have placed an Amazon order. That was really expensive. Wait, Jake, you bought a full self-defense turret system? I mean, it, it's, a, it's a turret system and it's self-defense and it's fully I might it might be that it was really expensive but you guys are loving the series so we want to invest back into it but let's kick things off guys let's get power in here and let's get this place up and operational because dude the roof's caving in a, a lot of stuff is kind of caving yeah. <laughs> we got a lot to work on all right guys so update for you we've been working on the fort now for a little while and this thing is looking sweet this is probably our biggest vault we have ever created it's almost as big as the papa jake mansion like literally a couple more rooms and this thing is a mansion but check this out okay so right now we're inside the main area you guys know this place here this is looking good you head into here into the second area via this vault door switch here so we open this up here go into the second area check it out it's looking pretty cool in here but then you come out into the third area which is where the two-story vault will be made. Now, we're still working on it, guys. It still has a lot to be done here, but essentially, you'll be able to come up like this. You'll be able to head up here if you want to, and we've got an underspace below here, so you can actually chill down here. There's where the entrance is gonna be. Still gotta get power going, still gotta get running water going, and of course, get the AC unit blasting air into here so we have fresh, breathable air, because, you know, we're surviving inside a vault. But first things first, we gotta get this thing built because if we're surviving here tonight, guys, we need an actual fort to live in. Okay, guys, so update for you. We actually finished putting on the second story of the vault check it out here uh, there's no power I have an auxiliary fan here that we're using for the lighting but as you can see lots of open space down here we still have the opening where the vault door is going to go and of course all this space here that is the lower part of the upper level as of right now I need to get this entire place lit and power as you can see the main vault room here has full power everything's working there I just double checked the circuit breaker as well to make sure we're running so right now my objective is to get this place online get this room powered as well as this room powered let's keep building and make this place look great all right and there we go we're fully lit and ready to turn this room into something awesome I'm thinking we turn this room into maybe like a mixture between the medical bay and the eatery where we can get water, we can get food, and just kind of have like a lot of our supplies in here. And a lot of you guys want us to build power armor, which I think is really sweet. So I'm thinking we add on maybe a workshop, but that could be in later episodes if you guys want us to continue the series. But Logan's been working out here. I also put some aesthetics on the door. Let's see uh, what he's been up to. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? What's up, guys? How's it going in the other room? Uh, How it's going. We got two stories so far. Dude, I still don't know what we're going to make this. Do you have any ideas yet? I'm not exactly sure what we should make this but I think we should put the vault door there and this room should be the entrance to the vault so while Logan's working on the lighting in the two-story part of the vault I'm actually going back here to the original section and repairing basically anything I can as you guys can see here uh, it's a little bit hard to see on camera but this wall is well it, it, it it's caving in like it's it's gonna break soon so I mean this is a dying wall okay we need to fix this thing and fix it soon or else we're gonna lose this entire fort and I, I don't want to do that because this is our main area and it's where we sleep which means we got to repair this thing as best as I can I'm trying my best to tape all the patches up here we got this wall which is basically falling over and it's ripping down all of the lighting in here and this is where the circuit breaker is so that's what powers the entire vault so we cannot lose this wall I don't know why we put all the important stuff here but we did so right now my job is to repair this and hope it doesn't fall on us during the night. Okay guys, so I've been working on this room for a little while now. This is the room that we're gonna be using as the kitchen as well as our storage area. And guys, I mentioned it before, but it is finally time. This is the first time we've ever had proper running water inside a box oh. for it. That's right guys, we have a rain catcher established outside of the fallout vault which travels through a PVC pipe which then connects to this plastic pipe which comes down here to a water kind of like holder thing here which cuts off the water all the way to a shower head. Let's try this out. You ready dude? In three, two, one. Oh, oh dude we have running awesome. water inside of a box board. That's awesome. Dude I can wash my hands. Guys how 
cool is this? Now that we know that this works, guys, we can build a shower. We could build uh, probably just a shower. I would say bathtub, but that's a bit gross. We could build a shower, guys. We could do so much with this. This isn't really drinking water because it's, it's rainwater, but we could use the system and fill it up with drinkable bottled water and then actually be able to dispense ourselves a nice cup of water whenever we want. All right, well, Jake, while you were working on that, I finished the other room. What? Let's check it out, dude. All right, guys, so as you come up here, we have the second story. Oh, dude, this is massive. Now this is all lit, guys, this is sick. So far, I'm storing all of our blasters up here and equipment for going out, and then the vault door is gonna be right there. Yeah, guys, we still haven't built the vault door. We're gonna get to that. We just don't know like how far out we're expanding, so we don't really know where to put it yet. But I think for an armory, this is pretty sweet. All right, guys, we're closing the vault for the night. Uh, there we go. I right, make the switch here. The vault door is locked and we are good to go. So I think it's time now to get inside, set up for the night. This is a 24 hour challenge, guys. So we do need to make dinner and I'm pretty exhausted. We did a lot, guys. We added two different expansions to the vault. But let's head into the main area here for our dinner. Come on in, Logan. Guys, once we get the final vault door on there, there will be triple security. But for now, close the door, Ugh. latch it shut and activate the lock. There we go, vault door is secure and we are all nice and cozy inside the main area of the vault. And How's our security doing, Jake? All right, all doors are online and dude, oof, we got in here just in time. Looks like radiation levels and toxin levels are rising outside. Good thing we got the air purifier going. All right, I'm gonna really quickly do a quick cycle of the power, guys. In three, two, one. Okay, all right, it's for Logan. Jake, turn right. back on. I can't see you, all right, it's kind of hard to see. Turn it. I got a feel for it, one second. Okay, I feel it, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, there Jake, we go. Uh, let's just leave the lights on, okay? All right, well, power cycled, we're good to go. And all of our vault doors are still locked. Before we jump into dinner, we did get a pretty sweet Vault Tech care package that I want to show you guys. This is, this is the care package that you get whenever you join a brand new vault. Of course, we did get our pit boy, but inside here are some essential vault tech survival tools. Ooh, dude, check it out. All right, so it looks like we have, all right, we got a flashlight, not too bad. That's pretty cool. Pretty good. Uh, looks like we have a vault tech welcome brochure. This is pretty cool. It's got a little, uh, little information here about where to find stuff. Congratulations on joining the vault. Aside from that, we have, ooh, dude, check this out. This is a solar panel battery. So you flip this up like this, it's a survival battery that allows us to charge our phones, a charge electronics. Obviously we're connected to the grid right now, guys, with this, but if there was a power outage, we could use this to charge any of our essential items and collect the power from the sun. Oh, got my vault dog tag. That's pretty sweet. Gonna put this on here. This looks like a kit to make Rataway and some other really essential vault items. Last but not least, looks like we got some more survival items here. We know what this oh, is. Oh, a thermal blanket. It's a thermal blanket. Nice. Okay, sweet. We'll put this aside in case of an emergency or in case we go outside the vault. But so far, this is a pretty sweet introductory vault package. So let's, uh, let's close this up and move on. All right, guys, this is the segment that I call cooking your vault life Fallout Apocalypse Dinner with Papa Jake, and today we are having vegetable pasta, which sounds amazing. Oh, dude, chocolate chip cookie, I'm having that. Let's get the vegetable pasta set up and cooking, and I'll be eating my chocolate chip cookie while we wait. All right, guys, got our cookie here, all vacuum sealed. Let's see how it is. Not oh, bad. Extremely dry, but not bad. All right, guys, we've got our beef pasta here. It's all cooked Ooh, and ready yeah. to go. No, it doesn't look the greatest, this is probably the part of vault living that uh, isn't the nicest. Bottoms up. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, well, I think we're gonna eat this up and then get ready for bed. All right, guys, we're all ready for bed and I'm powering her down. Both switches on and we are turning off the breakers in three, two, one. Night, guys. Logan! Logan, Logan, wake up! Logan, there's been a gas leak! Oh no, oh no, 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 no! Logan, Logan, gas mask now! <laughs> Jake, what's going on? Logan, gas mask, gas mask! We have a leak! We gotta get them on, quickly, quickly! I think it's radiation. Get yours on now! Get your gas mask on now, Logan! Wait, Jake, how do we patch it up? I gotta try and use the pressure override. I might be able to do it. Let me get mine on. Alright, Logan, you okay? Good, 
it, Jake. All right, hold still. We're gonna try to patch it. it. Looks like backup power's off. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. We gotta leak in the pressure system. It looks like it's getting into the oxygen. I can't cycle the power. I might be able to divert power from the main systems. Give me a second here. But right, I'm gonna try something. Come on, Jake, do it fast. All right, this is gonna turn off our security systems, but it should work to stop the leak. All right, in three, two, one. We got it. You okay? I'm okay, Jake. What caused that? I don't know. It looks like there's a pressure override. I think we're drawing too much power to the vault. The vault is getting so large. Uh, uh, uh. All right, there's a little bit of smoke left, but the, the hole is patched. Look, dude, this vault is getting so big. It looks like we're drawing too much power into here. Uh, it completely bypassed the fresh air system and started leaking in radiation. Radiation? From what? From the outside, Logan. The levels are raising extremely high. Uh, I don't want to scare you, but that was an extremely large dose of radiation. I'm gonna grab my pit boy and see what the damage is. Follow me through the vault. Let's see if anything else was affected. Uh, all right, let's get to the armory. Door unlocked here. Uh, all right, follow me. All right, armory entrance here. Pit boy should just be inside. Uh, Alright, let's check you out for those rats. Oh no. Jake, what are you doing? This isn't good. What? I have to check myself. The rats we encountered from that leak are extremely high. But I'll make us some rat away soon. Things could get bad and fast. What do you mean? It's radiation, Logan. From outside. We'll have to deal with this later. At least we know what we're dealing with. We have some components I can use to make some rat away, but I'll have to act quickly. Alright. Let's go. What's up, guys? How's it going? <laughs> Just chilling here in the second story. Oh, dude. Woo! Second story is looking fresh. That is sweet, man. We have been working a ton on this fort. You guys know Papa Jake. When I do a box fort, I go big. And that's what we've done with this box fort. It is probably one of the biggest and one of the craziest, especially because we've had terrible weather. It's, it's raining like every single day. It, it's almost raining right now. And you know, Logan, there is one mortal enemy to cardboard. That's water. So we've been battling the rain, we've been battling the wind, but it's all come together with our super comfy and awesome fallout vault, which we've been surviving in for, this is episode three, so that's like, well, it's been two nights, but it's like three days, dude. But instead of just rambling on, why don't we go check this out? All right, here we go. Ugh. Awesome, there we are. Move the vault door aside. That thing is heavy. All right, let's get in here. Oh yeah, it's starting to rain. But here we go inside our cozy fallout vault. Check it out guys. So now we're in the main room and in this episode we are going to be making a bunch of upgrades to the vault but we closed the vault door like so. It's all closed. We're nice and safe and cozy in here from you know, those bad raiders or, or radiation whatever. There's a lot of stuff out there that's bad. So if you come on over here this is our armory. Flip this up. Activate the door lock here and welcome to the armory. It's two stories. <laughs> now this is probably the biggest room inside the vault itself. This has to have a lot of work done to it. I mean, we have all of our weapons in here. We have our vault tech pit boy. Oh, I didn't know that was loaded. But the cool thing about this is obviously we have the two stories. So we have the story up here and you can go down into here where we got a light and a fan. But yeah, so guys, I don't really know what we want to make this yet. So maybe leave a comment down below. You guys have been one of the number one resources we've used for ideas for this vault. So shout out to all of you guys giving us suggestions for this. You guys are making this. We're making this together. It's the Papa Jake family vault where we're all going to live in. All right, let's head into the main room. All right, guys, now we're going into the control room, also the sleeping quarters. And yeah, wow. A bit messy in here after but, uh, today's leak. The air conditioning is oh, so it's nice. so nice in here, guys. We got fresh air coming in courtesy of our air conditioner. This is the first time we've ever had an air conditioner inside of a box fort and wow, that, that makes a huge difference. But this is of course where we use all the power and stuff like that. These are our switches, don't touch these, that will ruin the vault. And you guys saw this is our gas mask. This actually is a real gas mask, so uh, it's pretty sweet. But yeah guys, so today what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be adding on to the vault itself. We're gonna be improving a bunch of the stuff in here. I mean, there are some things that are falling down, some things need to be taped, like the vault door I wanna work on, but the coolest thing that we're gonna be doing today, guys, is we are gonna be building some fallout power armor. We are gonna be making a power armor station that we're gonna build a fully functional set of power armor. We're gonna have like laser optics in it, wiring, an air conditioning system inside the power armor so that we can actually go outside of the vault 
and go raid raiders because raiders have been raiding us so we're gonna go raid them back that's what Papa Jake does. So eventually, guys, like I said, we are going to be making a workshop for today. I thought we could build the power armor inside the armory. All right, guys, so first up, I think I'm going to work on the actual door itself. I want to spruce up this vault door a little bit, make it even more epic so that when we exit and enter the vault, it is super cool. While I'm working on this, Logan's going to work on the power armor, and then I'm going to be adding some really cool security systems to the vault that I bet you guys had no idea was going to add. So guys, one of the things you always ask is when we are doing a 24-hour challenge in the box for, you know, how do we keep up with hygiene? Well, now that we have a shower, Hour. Uh, <laughs> Logan's doing it. Oh, dude, he's getting it everywhere. It's it's not that hygienic. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean he's, he's getting his hair all done, looking good. Logan's been working on the power arm in the other room, and he's been getting a little bit sweaty, so he decided to have a, uh, that's like a half shower. That's that's not how you properly shower, guys. Nice little cool down. Oh, you look, uh, look wet but anyway logan why don't you go show them what you've been working on with the power armor all right guys so the power armor is almost done we have the arms and legs and a chest piece now all i have to do is add some cool gadgets like a fan some lighting and maybe some nerf gun attachments all right guys so i've made some progress on the power armor and it's looking pretty sweet so i've been working on this vault door for quite some time now and guys i made some really awesome improvements to the vault first of all before I show you the vault door, Logan, check this out. I actually added a security camera to the outside of the vault so we can look outside and see if there's any raiders at the vault door. There you can see the vault door itself. We can zoom out and we have an entire view of the front of the vault. How cool is that? Check this out. If you want to open the vault door itself, there is a lot more security systems in place. So first off, you have to activate the emergency switch here. That's going to release the lock on the vault door. Then you're going to hold down this switch as well as release the air pressure button. In three, two, one like so how sweet is that guys the vault door will open and then we can get outside go on an expedition or do whatever we need to and then of course when we close it we deactivate the safety switch reverse panels and it'll close how cool is dude, that that's crazy right that's sweet i want to go in though and see the power armor dude right, how's that going on. oh that is sick i think it'll fit you yeah yeah no that looks like it'll fit okay so yeah, the power armor looks like it's in uh, it's in somewhat working order now. We got to uh, obviously spruce it up a little bit, but I think if we work together on this, dude, we can make this thing look awesome. All right, guys. So after a bunch of upgrades, Papa Jake was able to make the Papa Jake certified power armor. Check this stuff out, Logan. This could take on quite literally a death claw. Okay, this thing is equipped with everything you need. Now the front here is completely powered. We got the wiring all out here. It's not the prettiest power armor, but it works. Of course, we got power going to the auxiliary ports all along the armor. So for example, here at the front, you can turn on your flashlight. We also have in the back here, an auxiliary fan, which air conditions the suit. Obviously when you're out there, you're gonna get sweaty, you're gonna get hot. So by activating this, one, turn on a light, which is really awesome, but also activate the fan itself. So you've got auxiliary oh, air conditioning yeah. coming into the suit and of course cooling you off. And last but not least, the power armor helmet. The creme de la creme of the entire power armor. This is what brings it all together. Now this is our specially designed helmet that's gonna not only help protect ourselves, but also increase our ability to efficiently respond to threats. Before I try ending this on guys, you may remember at the start of this video, me and Logan took some pretty bad radiation, which means I think it's time to head back into the control center and make some rat away for us because if we don't get the radiation out of our system, we could both get really sick. We've got to use the supplies that we got from our Voltex starter kit to make ourselves, well, some radiation resistant rat away. We're going to use this to use some of our Voltex water that we caught using our rain catcher. So we're going to add it to the top like so, push it in and very slowly but surely it will add to the water thus dripping down into our bag giving us a bag full of rat away all right and after a little bit of time we have the rat away at the bottom of the bag all right and let's extract some of the rat away like so and just like that we'll get some rat away here into this now i know it doesn't look like a lot but that is enough dosage to make sure that logan's radiation is cured and goes away okay and there's still enough left for me oh that is uh Kind of salty, to be honest with you. So now it's on to some more. Wait, Logan, do you hear that? What is that? Jake, check the vault camera. Let's check the camera quickly. Logan, we've got a bandit at the front door. Take a look. He's trying to get in. He's breaking into the vault door, Logan. Hold on. Let me make sure auxiliary power is still online. Jake, what are we going to do? We've got multiple. I'm seeing three bandits on the monitor here. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't good. This isn't good. Hold on. I'm sucking on the emergency power. I'm gonna try and put everything we've got into the vault door. We need this thing to sustain itself. All right, cycling emergency power now. All right, emergency power is online. Jake, how are we gonna stop them? 
We're gonna know exactly how we're gonna stop them. I'm gonna put on the power armor and go out there and take care of all these bandits. Unfortunately for us though, the attacks from raiders continued, and as our base began to take more and more damage, we knew we had to move. Slowly, the warm summer sun began to transition into the cold of fall, followed shortly by the snow of winter. We had to expand, we had to move on, and we had to upgrade our base if we were to survive this. This is what we have so far for the box fort. We've got this room here, which is a kind of sitting room. Over here, we've got two different layers of security doors, which is actually really important when we're doing a Fallout 4 vault because we need security. So, you go through the first layer here, into the second layer, we definitely need to light it. Those have all not been lit yet, so we have to work on that. But I think to start, we're gonna start working on the vault door, and then we'll come in here and start expanding out into the next room. We also have a little bit of space in here that we could expand into, so I'll have to ask Logan what he thinks about that. Check it out, so we went ahead and we kind of remodified the back cave a little bit, and we put in the treadmill here, which is gonna be the entrance to the vault. The way we're gonna use this is that we're gonna have like the vault staging area here. We have to go on the console and activate the vault door. Once the vault door opens at the front you can then enter onto the treadmill you'll slowly be brought into the vault and then you can go through the secondary security door inside and only then can you access the vault it's very secure so now all we have to do is start remodifying this with cardboard so that we can get it all around and then start decking out the security door here so we can actually access it with the computer and control panel <laughs> Alright guys, check this out. Just finished the vault door. This thing is looking sweet. It's one of our classic vault doors. Got, you know, the lock here and everything like that. But of course you can't hack into this because it all uses inside mechanisms. But if you open up the vault door here, just like this, you can enter into the vault. Now over here we haven't done the lighting yet, so you can't really see it too well. But that's basically where we're gonna have the mechanism that actually brings you into the vault. You'll go on a conveyor belt that will slowly bring you inside, and the only way to activate that is from the inside. So we still have to light that, I still have to work on the control panel, but we're making progress here. So I think we're gonna start working on the inside, and then we also have to go ahead and extend all the way out here. As you guys can see, we started it here. We gotta cut a hole here and extend all the way out here into this room. So there's still a lot to do. There's still a lot of building to get done, but we're having a bunch of fun. And you guys know me, Fallout 4 is one of my favorite games of all time, so this is gonna be sweet. So while Jake's working on the security room, I'm gonna be working on our living quarters. And we're gonna use this elevated space as a sleeping pod for Jake, and I'm gonna make my bedroom down here. So while Logan's working out there, I'm now in the vault door room, which is basically where you can activate the vault door to let people in. As you guys can see, we've got this space here. This is where you'll actually come in once the vault door is activated. Now here, I've gotta use all this cool stuff to make it control panel so I can activate the vault door. We've got our keypad here for the terminal, we've got a couple other electronic devices, and then once you get in here you can then enter into the main room which is inside. So let's start building. <laughs> All right guys, check it out, the terminal is ready. As you guys can see, we've got all of our wires, everything hooked up here. So basically now we use the hacking terminal, which will allow us to access the vault door. So for example, if we're on here, you would type in your commands. There we go. And then access the vault door with this. I'm gonna turn on the vault and allow the vault door to open and then go around to the front so you guys can see exactly what it looks like once I open the door and we come inside the vault. Here we go, opening vault. There we go. Let's check this out. Can you hear the siren going on? Oh, here we go. And there we go, guys. The vault door opens. Check this out. Now it's time to go inside. You get inside and you have the vault door activated. All the security measures are on. The terminal is activated, which means the conveyor belt's on. So we just pop on this and go inside the vault. Woohoo! There we go. Check this out, guys. Right inside the vault, 
And there, we're in the hacking terminal room. Got the hacking terminal here on. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the vault door now. And there we go, vault door's locked. And now, we can go ahead and enter into the primary vault. I still haven't put the pressure lock on this. I'm gonna pressurize this door, but once we have that on, the door would open, and then we enter in to the main vault room. How sweet is that? So now that we know that the vault door works and the system to get in here is working, I'm gonna start working on the med bay, but I wanna go check out what Logan's been up to. Let's see what's going on in the next compartment here. As you guys can see, in every Fallout 4 vault, we have our doors. You know, we can shut them, pressure lock them, which is very important when you have a Fallout shell. But let's jump inside and see what Logan's doing. All right, let's check it out. Logan, what have you been up to? Yo, dude! This place looks sweet! Check it out, man. I've been working Yo. on this thing for like hours. Is this our secondary living slash sleeping quarters? This is the living oh, slash- Dude, this is huge! So we got all this space. We got one light there. I'm uh, gonna install another light over there. Oh yeah, for sure. Not done over there, but Jake, check this out. This oh, is your no sleeping way. pod up there. story. Dude, this is sweet. Guys, I didn't even think this was gonna be a two-story box fort fallout shelter, but already, yo, there's actually tons of room in here, man. All right, so we definitely need to still light this and bring in a bunch of our gear, but I'm gonna get working on the med bay. Logan's gonna finish up in here, and then this vault is almost done. Wait, Jake, before you go, check out this awesome metal duct tape. This stuff is gonna be awesome for decking out our fallout shelter. Dude, it's like reinforced steel. I love that, man. All right, guys, well, while Logan's working on that, let's come in here and start working on the med bay. Check this out. We're inside the med bay now, and I have everything set up as you guys can see this is separate from the vault but you enter here through this door and then you can come up here and sit down if you need to be medically examined or anything like that and of course in here we have all of our vault survival gear we've got some extra food rations in here we also have some extra water rations which actually come in bags which is pretty cool it's like water in a bag and then we've got some band-aids some sterilizing cloth all of which is really important with vault life because you know when you're in here you're safe from outside but there's still radiation there's still things that could go wrong in a vault so having this place is important especially if you go out on a mission i think we might need you because we didn't bring a lot of food in here and if we're doing a 24-hour challenge we're gonna need to go out in the wasteland and scavenge for some food so we just got finished up building the fallout 4 box fort but before we do a tour of the whole vault itself we gotta get logan inside here so i've got my pit boy here we're gonna go ahead and access the vault door and open it up for logan we have a super secure encrypted vault door so that no one can get in without access here we go vault door open Oh, what's, yeah. up? what's up, dude? <laughs> Welcome to the vault. That is awesome. Yeah, man. Oh, dude, check out your pit boy. I know, man. Oh, we got some sweet pit boys going on here. All right, I'm gonna relock the vault door. Make sure that this is all locked up on us. Give me a second here. There we go. Access granted. We're good to go. All right, well, let's jump in the vault and show you guys what it looks like. And you come on inside. We got our common area here. You know, we got a clock on the wall. Nice Fallout style clock there, looking great. Over here, if you come around this corner, we have our armory. This is where we're keeping all of our gear in case we go out into the wasteland, which I will be doing later because I think I need to scavenge for some food. But of course, we've got our masks here, some ammo, a couple weapons. We're a little bit low on supplies, but that's okay. We can definitely scavenge for some more. Over here is the med bay. We've got a bunch of really awesome gear. We've got some medical supplies here in case we go out. And we've got a few extra rations of water which are very important when you're living the vault life. All right, let's go into living quarters. We got a pressurized lock here so we can keep all of the air secure in case there's a breach. Pressurize, and there we go. Door's open. Let's head inside. Oh, dude, check it Whoa, out. That is This massive. vault is huge, guys. This is way bigger. I was gonna try to double our Fallout 4 vault from last episode. I think we tripled it. What? It's awesome seeing this thing with the lights, man. It is so big. We have a second story, of course. You can come up here with the nice vaulted ceilings. And up here, we've got a sleeping quarters. So it's a little bit of a sleeping pod. You can come up in here, you know, turn on some tunes on your pit boy. Oh uh, yeah, and then just chill out, relax, and enjoy the fallout for vault life. So yeah, this place is sweet, and of course the vault ceilings add to it, and there's just so much room in here, which is awesome. Jake! Jake, there's a rad roach! Oh, oh, watch oh, out, watch oh, out, watch oh, out! Jake. I'll get the gun, hold on! Stay back! But Jake, don't shoot me! Jake, get it! Stop it! Oh, got it! Whew, that was close. Oh, Jake, there's another one right there! Hold on, I got it! Hold on, hold on! Whew. Stop that rad roach infestation. As safe as vaults are, guys, those rad roaches find a way to get in here. I think probably our best bet now is if we're going to be surviving in here for the night, we need to get food, which means I have to go out into the wasteland. Look, if you can stay back here and keep the vault secure, I'll grab what supplies I have and go out and see if I can't find some. All right, I'm going to gear up with what I have in the armory, open the vault door, and head out. I'll take one of the weapons and leave the rest for you in case you need it. 
There's gonna be mutants out there, other raiders. Let's see if I can find some raiders though. I might be able to loot them for food. I'll leave a little bit of ammo. I know we don't have a lot left. Custom gas mask for the mission. Come across some raiders. Rather than scared of me. Alright, open the vault. I'm heading out. Opening the vault. Alright. See you on the other side. in this woods. Logan, I'm coming through on the pit boy. I just ran into a bandit. Couldn't get up to him to loot. I'm gonna check down here, see if I can't find anything else. Maybe some supplies. Rods are off the charts here. Doesn't look like I'm getting past this. <sighs> Looks like another wastelander. This ain't no mutant. I'll take this. A little stash on you. Hello, Megan. I was able to find some food. I'm coming back to the vault. Get the door ready. There's a lot of bad guys out here. Let's make it quick. All right, I'm opening up the vault right now. All right, Jake, the vault door should be opening right now. All right, Jake, come in. Come in and grab my gear. Oh man, we did not want to be out there today. It is freezing cold. Did you get anything? Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of food. Those raiders almost got me though. Whew, that was something else. <sighs> How was that, man? Grab some food, met a couple new friends, but other than that, it's another day in the wasteland. Let's grab our gear, uh, see what we got for dinner. All right, let's see what we got off this guy. Grab an extra pistol as well as some food rations, it seemed like. Chili with beans. All right, let's make some dinner. Get some food into us. Sells an MRE here, it looks like. You don't know what one of these things is? They are food rations that can survive 50, 100 years, doesn't really matter. But the cool thing about it is you actually don't need a heater. We're surviving in a wasteland vault. We don't have a heater, so we use one of these things. It's got everything you need in it to eat. We're a little bit low on supplies. We'll definitely have to do some more wasteland runs to get more, but for now, it's dinner. Chili with beans. Crackers. Ooh, Logan. What? You guys sell some lemon poppy pound cake. Oh, I love it. All right, I so say we start cooking this thing up and get some food into us. I mean, it does look a little stale. That's what you gotta do when you're living in the wasteland. Right. It's so dry, but so good. <laughs> That's definitely dry. <laughs> it's literally like cardboard. So let's put some jam on it. Look at that, guys. Got ourselves some Fallout Wasteland crackers. While Jake's preparing the rest of the food, I'm gonna get our beds ready, cause we gotta hit the hay soon. It's been a very long day. So I'm gonna put Jake's mattress up here, cause I think he wants the sleeping pod. And I'm just gonna sleep right there. So it looks like we're all ready for bed. All right guys, we just finished baking our meal, so we're gonna open it up here. We've got ourselves chili with beans, which is pretty good. Look at that guys, some wasteland beans with a little bit of the chili sauce. And uh, I think there's some meat in here too, which is kind of weird considering this thing can last 100 years, but hey, it's food. Not bad at all. You wanna try some? Sure. Mm. Not bad, right? It's actually really good. 
did. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna finish up our dinner, and then once dinner's done, honestly, I think it's gonna be bedtime. We had a massive day today building this box for it, as well as, of course, going out in the wasteland. Had a lot of issues out there, but we got our food. We got ourselves set up. I think it's time we hit the hay after this. I'm gonna go up into my sleeping chamber up here. Logan's gonna be chilling down here. And, uh, let's play a little bit of nice soothing tunes for nighttime on a pit boy. Perfect. All right. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's definitely not a billionaire's box for it, but it'll do surviving in the wasteland. Night, buddy. Peace out. Night, buddy. <laughs> Jake? Jake? Jake, wake up! Uh, someone's trying to get in the vault. Let's go, let's go. To the terminal, quickly, quickly. Here, wait. Grab this. Where's my ammo belt? Grab my ammo belt. I gotta get to the terminal. Jake, there's no time. Here. Grabbing a backup weapon. Oh, this will work. All right, let's see what's going on here. Looks like we have most of our systems online, but whoever's out there is trying to lock me out of the vault. They're trying to open it manually from the outside. Can you lock them out? I'm trying. Security breach? What? Opening. The vault's opening. All right, get back into the sleeping quarters. We can put up a fight there. All right, watch the door. The second that door opens, we fire. All right? All right. There he is! Just keep firing! Got him. I'll have to check and make sure he doesn't have any rads. I didn't look like a mutant, though. Whew. But well, this pretty much wraps up our Fallout 4 box 4. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you guys like this part 2 of it. If you guys think we should do more of the Fallout box 4 life, then smack that like button down below. And also, like I said, guys, at the start of the video, do not forget, if you want to enter into the giveaway, smack that subscribe button. But most importantly, a lot of you guys forget about it. Hit that bell button. It's right beside the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. Turn on notifications. And then you're good to go. You're entered into our Christmas giveaway. And you never miss another one of Papa Jake's awesome videos. But thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see all of you guys next time for another awesome video.